Ooh, Stickosaurus here. And today we're starting on another weapon. It is from King Oger. This is the... I'm not sure what the exact name is. Oger Caliber, King Caliber. I just got the DX toy and it, it yells its name, but I can't forget it. Like I just got it last night. I opened it, so... Uh, this is a beautiful model by Lowe's Cosplay Creations. I will definitely put a link to his Instagram if you're interested in purchasing this model. It has all the bits and everything, all the Boppa bits. Uh, instruction on how it goes together and all that. I just can't hold it all because we didn't put it together yet. We're going to do some finishing work before we get it all together. Maybe not on all this. We might put this together, but we're going to resin the bits and stuff. Bits, the Boppa stuff. This was kind of a felt print, so it has a little extra seam, so I probably won't be able to hide because I'm bad at weapons, but we're going to give it a shot. Again, this is at 850 millimeters. Also, full disclosure, this was kind of like the test print for him. He made the file, and I kind of did a test print. So it took a bit to get the kinks out. I think he's going to have it scaled about to the 850 like this one is, which is, I think, screen accurate as far as, I mean, as close as you can get. It he has a hole in the middle to put a rod up through. So we'll probably get the actual sword together and finish this and then resin the boppet pieces and put it all back together at the end. So that's the plan. Let's get this together and start putting it and then we will start sanding. So this build kind of got away from me. I wasn't sure how to approach this. What we ended up doing was putting some UV resin on the boppet bits and the blade after we got it super glued together with a wood towel down it. Uh, then I just used some filler primer on both sides, and then we kind of sanded like normal. At one point, I did hand putty the sword to try to get rid of the seams and wet sanded it by hand, which seemed to have helped, but I'm not sure. And then we kind of just continued on the normal path for it. Here's this monster. We're gonna do the black detail lines. I'm just gonna hand paint those real quick. I'm thinking about doing a black wash for like the intricate parts on the blade, give it some sort of you know, depth to it. And then we're gonna get everything, all the little bits that we just painted the best we could. Glued on here, then we'll get it hit with a satin clear and it should be done. here we are this was a long time coming and i kind of did rush a little bit at the end here because we were going to use this pronghorn heroes jeb and fee came in we were going to use it for some recording some videos but we ran out of time we never got around to it i'm going to be honest with you in rushing the clear coat a little bit we've got a tiny paint wrinkle here on the side of the handle i don't think you can really notice but it bothers me a little bit just a little bit and we went with uh the matte clear and I think it makes it look more real if that makes sense I, I don't know more like an actual like sword prop shout out to Los Cosplays for this awesome model they had this out like probably like episode two of King Oger they had this file out I'm super happy with it I would like to do a little bit more detail lines on the bop it parts but again I was kind of in a time crunch they were coming and you know we scheduled it and I was trying to get this done so we could use it 
but I hope you enjoy this. It was really fun. As you know, I'm not like super great at making weapons. I've been trying to get better. If you're like, oh, that looks terrible. I'm like, yeah, okay, that's fair. We'll get there. Like I said, we've got some other weapons we're working on. We have the Zon Brothers Zen Glass out there. The Shinkamaru from Mission Kenjir. I do have an old, it's called the Kakumaru, whatever the, uh, the Kaku Ranger sword out there. So hopefully we can get around to doing some more weapons. I think they're really fun and they're really cool once they're done. Like getting them all together and all the small like tedious parts takes me a little bit, but I think it's worth it in the end. So this is going to be awesome. I've been kind of holding off on this to do some TikToks. Uh, I'm going to be super gentle with it because if I get too real with it, <laughs> I'm going to break it. Uh, this is just held on by glue. And it did break once, I'm going to be honest. Well, I, I was transporting it to our shooting location, but that's enough for me. Here is my friend Los who did the model for this, and he's going to tell you all about his Etsy store and all that. So thanks for watching on my end. I'll see you next time, but stick around to hear from Los. How you doing, guys? This is Los. My handle is Los underscore Cosplay Creations. You've probably seen that handle on uh, Stick's Twitch stream. Uh, so whenever he talks about Los, that's this guy over here. Uh, you, my Instagram is also um, the same handle, Los underscore Cosplay Creations. So please give me a follow and see all the good stuff that I have on there. I do have an Etsy page that just opened up. Same handle, Los Cosplay Creations, just without the underscore. That, as of this video, that King Oger file will be on there. So if you want it, it's yours. Seeing that King Oger Caliber just before the Sentai series came out, I loved it. It looked phenomenal. So I did a lot of work and research, even though there wasn't that much reference pictures out there. And I did my best to 3D model it and try to get to the same style it, it looked like in the series. Stick, being the cool guy that he is, bought the model from me and started creating it. And I have to say, his final product looks phenomenal to see my creation out there in the world makes it makes my hobby just that much better to do stick thank you so much for buying my model guys check out my instagram check out my etsy store there's more stuff coming hit me up on discord if you if you need to uh hit me up on ig's the same handle uh give me a follow pass it on to your buddies Thank you so much for everything. Stick, keep doing what you're doing, dude. And have a good night, everyone. He has a rod in the middle. That's a blooper.